Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Nightcap Gamer. My name is Josh and tonight I'm playing Lord of the Rings Online and we're gonna take a trip to Tuckboro. Tonight I'm sipping on a, another delicious glass of Elijah Craig small batch. Um, what's interesting is I, I thought this used to be Elijah Craig 12 year um, and I looked on their site and I could not find the 12 year anymore. Although even in my local stores it's still listed as a 12 year. Uh, so I don't know if they removed the 12 year uh, mark and are just selling it as a small batch anymore. I don't know if it was too difficult to keep up with the uh, 12 year barrels or something like that. But at any rate, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll let you guys know. All right, so we're in Tuckboro. We've got a couple quests to turn in here. Um, apparently we're looking for a yellowed recipe for some delicious beer that's been lost uh, for many generations. So uh, we'll take a look inside the library and see if we can find it. Um, I've turned my uh, floaty names off, but you can see it's sitting right here on this bookshelf. Uh, we found the secret recipe. And I don't know about you guys, but if I had something this important, uh, I, it would be hard not to let the power go to my head. You know, I could sell it to the highest bidder. I could take it to all the crappy... Uh, breweries and and uh, give them the recipe and make them loads of money because they have the most delicious beer in all the land um, but I should probably just take it back to the burden baby in and uh, let him have it uh, I know it's 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 his time to shine Carlo I have a good feeling about this year with the, um, this new recipe uh, I think you're gonna take home the gold for sure we also have to talk to Donna Mira Took who's a librarian. Right, so Bingo wants a cookbook. Um, one of these, oh gosh, I don't know which one to pick. Um, they all look so great, right? Uh, I'll go ahead and take this one. I'm sure there's some uh, great recipes in here. Uh, and she's written my name down. Why did you write my name down? Nobody needs to know that I was here. All right? You forget what you saw today. Thank you for your patronage and support your local library. No, absolutely not. If I hear anything about this, Donna Mira took, you're gonna wish you'd never been born. All right? Good day. Okay, we've also got an, oh, two quests to pick up in here. I'm sure it's a bother, but I could use your help. All right, the library is haunted, apparently. I didn't even know when I went in there. Uh, if I had known that the library was haunted, I probably wouldn't have stepped foot in the library. Um, okay, the old Took was known for slaying a great bear in his time. If you could bring me the pelts of a few bears, maybe it will ease his spirit. Uh, so we'll go slay some bears and <laughs> rip off their skin. Might I speak with you a moment? Just to satisfy an old ghost. Um, okay. Eisenbard and Imbert, my full cousins. Um, the latest chapter Adelard wrote for the yearbook of Tuckbro. They've they've stolen it away and hid it in a tall tree. Um, so we'll go see uh, if we can find Eisenbard and uh, get the chapter of the book back from him. Um, it, it is a beautiful day in the Shire, I have to say. Uh, nice blue skies. Um, there's some clouds, but uh, it's a great day. It's a great day to be alive and uh, to be in Middle Earth. You turn your back on me? Okay, so she's worried about her cousin, Garibert. <laughs> uh, man, there are some amazing names in the Shire, aren't there? Garibert and Acelia. Uh, she's worried about her cousin. He's missed a meal, which is unlike him, and uh, for the most part, unlike any hobbit, uh, to be fair. Um, Could I take a moment of your time? Gammer Tunnelly wants us to bring her grandson some lunch. Uh, we've also got another post quest, but we've skipped one. We'll have to go back for that one. Um, let's go deal with these bears and see if we can find uh, Isambard. All right, there he is. I see him right under the tree. Uh, this supposed tree that he's hid the chapter of the book in. Isambard, what are you doing stealing stealing pages out of a Good book? Day. We hid the chapter in a satchel in the tree, but the branch we climbed up on broke off. Okay. Um, He's going to knock the satchel out of the tree. Uh, hopefully he doesn't hit anyone with the rock that he's throwing. <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, that would just be disastrous, right? Okay, he's not gonna miss. Okay, so <laughs> apparently he missed. Uh, he hit a he hit a hive of bees. Oh, and now swarms of bees are attacking us. Uh, so we'll take out these angry bees. Nothing worse than a bunch of angry bees. Um, man, I don't know if you guys ever got uh, attacked by bees when you were uh, younger. It, it seemed to happen to pretty much everyone I know at least once. You know, they get swarmed by some bees. Uh, I remember my one of my close friends. He stuck his head in a in a tree that had, had you know died and fallen over, and there was a big hole in it. He stuck his head inside and got stung by a bunch of bees, and it was actually pretty bad. He had like this big uh, cast thing like all over like on top of his head that he had to wear for like three weeks because um, his skin like reacted so badly and swelled up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it was kind of dangerous at the time. He probably could have died or something like that, uh, but he didn't. Uh, which which is great. <laughs> uh, so uh, the bees have attracted these bears, um, and the bears came for the honey. Uh, we've taken care of the bears. Uh, we just need that satchel. That's all we need is the satchel. Um, oh, Ember, it looks like he's <laughs> about to die. He has one hit point left. Uh, okay, luckily, he knocked the satchel down. Uh, we'll get the chapter of the book back and take it back. Uh, we've also got to take care of some more bears. We did get one bear pelt from that, which is uh, pretty nice. Uh, so we'll run down here, get some more bears, uh, get some pelts, and hopefully that'll satisfy the ghost of the old Took. Alright, here's a mature hill bear. <laughs> so we'll, uh, can I sneak up on him? No? Oh, I can. That was weird. I, uh, I couldn't click on the button. Um, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't sneak though. Uh, it's okay. Um, man, look at this bear in relation to me. Huge, right? Uh, I guess that's pretty pretty realistic considering uh, how big hobbits are. Um, oh, and I didn't get a pelt. I still didn't sneak up on the bear. I don't know what's going on. I still haven't gotten a pelt. Uh, this one looks like it's pretty good. No, not good enough for us. Alright, we've done it. We've gotten the third bear pelt. Uh, we'll take a ride back to Tuckboro and um, bring the bear pelts in. We'll bring the chapter of the book in, and we'll complete some quests. Okay, we've given him the pelt, and uh, he's hoping that it'll put the old Took to rest. Did it work, Adelard? Might I trouble you for some help? Nope. The moment I took a step in, it raised such a racket that it gave me a terrible fright. Okay, so he wants to go talk to his niece, Adelina. He wants some ribs, some, some nice barbecue ribs. Okay, so we'll ride over to Adelina and ask her if she can make some ribs for us. Okay, Adelina, we've got a we've got a ghost problem. Um, he wants some spice boar ribs, does he? Well, I have the spices, but I lack the ribs. Okay, so we need to kill some boars and uh, rip the ribs out of their cold dead bodies. Here's one sneaking around in the bushes right here. We're gonna loop around. Oh, he's look at him. He's he stinks. He's got flies swarming all around him. Oh, I bet he smells so bad. Uh, but we got a rib. Just one rib. Um, apparently we couldn't get the other ribs from him. Alright, we've got two ribs. One more to go. Alright, we got the ribs. Take another ride back. Um, hopefully this will satisfy the old Took's ghost. Oh, look, we rode right past her. Our buddy Alcott over here, he knows how to handle these ghosts. Uh, and he's not taking uh, any shortcuts. He'll do whatever it takes to uh, take care of this old Took's ghost um, and get him out of the library. It's been a foul day, it has. Okay, we got the spice boar ribs. All right, we've got the ribs. Oh, woe is me! I hope they'll appease the old Took's ghost for sure. Uh, oh man, they smell delicious. I, I, I don't. I don't. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I had a little nibble. Um, hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Um, did he like him? I hope okay, he's still in the library. May I speak he wants us you? to go to the Matham House in Mickledelving and talk to Keeper Brombard Foxtail. Um, apparently, he loved the old fireworks that Gandalf used to set off, uh, and so he wants us to go find a firework. Um, we're going to have to do some backtracking to do that, so we'll, uh, we'll move on with that quest uh, in a little while. Okay, let, let's head back to Waymeet and we'll uh, move on with our ongoing quest to deliver mail all over the Shire. 
Okay, here we are. Could I take a moment of your time? Got some more mail to deliver. This time we're going all the way up to the town of Needlehole through Rushek Bog, um, which is a long trek, uh, but we're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna watch watch our uh, watch our steps, make sure we don't run into uh, any nosy hobbits on the way, uh, looking for their mail. So let's take a look at what mail we've got in the satchel today. Uh, we got some letters, um, some bills. Oh, it looks like somebody skipped out on their rent again. They're going to be evicted from their hobbit hole uh, if they don't pay up soon. Um, what else we got? Oh, look, there's a copy of uh, Mad Magazine. Uh, you might not have known, they get Mad Magazine in Middle Earth. Uh, it's hard to believe they deliver all the way out there, but uh, they definitely do. Oh, and here's a flyer from the uh, Green Dragon Inn in Bywater. Looks like they uh, are now delivering uh, afternoon tea. Um, so you can uh, phone it in, I guess. I guess you can't phone it in. You have to walk all the way down there and place your order <laughs> and then go back to your, your helmet house and they'll, uh, they'll, they'll bring it on by and they'll deliver your tea piping hot and um, some nice biscuits as well. They call them biscuits because, uh, you know, it's an English, an English uh, pastime, you know, afternoon tea. We don't really do that over here in the United States, um, but I do like tea. Uh, I've never done it with cream. Uh, or milk or anything like that, but I'm sure it's delicious. Okay, we've delivered the mail, and now we're all the way up here in Needle Hill, Needle Hole. <laughs> um, we can turn in a quest uh, right over here, Griffo Boffin. Um, now he's the guy who lost the uh, money, right? Okay, some ragged-looking dwarves came running at him from the north. He dropped the bag with the money. Um, and, and lost it all. So he wants us to collect the money bag. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to pick up the pieces uh, and cover up for his mistake. Not a bother, but may I speak with you? And Philibert has lost his, his cow daffodil. Um, we're taking care of a lot of animals around here in the Shire, which uh, is understandable. Um, there's not much else to do besides take care of your animals, and when one of them runs off, you just shrug your shoulders and and go out and look for him. And hopefully you can find some friends to help you. I mean, Daffodil's part of the family now, you know? She's been around for a long time. Uh, she's always provided the best, most delicious cow milk. Everyone in Needlehole loves her, loves her milk. <laughs> so we gotta go find Daffodil. So it looks like she's um, back over here in the middle of the bog. Um, stinky, nasty, putrid bog with slugs and uh, gnats and frogs and bubbling green water. Everyone, it's with a heavy heart that I announce that Daffodil the cow is no longer with us. Um, apparently she was attacked by a troll who took a big bite out of her side and her neck uh, before being petrified by the morning sun. Oh, this is not good news. I'm gonna have to go back to Philbert and tell him that she's gone. He's gonna be so sad. I'm a little sad, honestly. Uh, I never knew Daffodil. Um, I never had the pleasure of meeting her, but I'm sure she was a wonderful cow. I'm sure her milk tasted delicious and uh, when she got too old and they slaughtered her and ate her meat that uh, she would have made some fantastic steaks but uh, there's there's not time for that anymore um, she's gone and her milk is gone and her steaks are gone um, oh I didn't even examine the cow I have to go back oh I have to relive the loss of Daffodil all over again. Partially eaten by a large beast of some kind. Okay, I've retrieved her cowbell. And I'll take it back to Philbert. It's the only thing he has left of sweet Daffodil. Philbert, I have something very important to tell you. Daffodil has passed on. Sorry, my thoughts were elsewhere. What do you mean your thoughts were elsewhere? Daffodil was missing. You weren't even thinking about her? She's gone now, Philibert. 
Someone needs to pay for this. <laughs> Daffodil. Alright guys, well, I think this is probably a good place to stop. I'm gonna go fix myself another bourbon and uh, just really allow myself to come to terms with Daffodil's death. Uh, it's a lot to process and I think I'm just gonna need some time. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to say in memory of Daffodil, um, please share it below in the comments. Um, I'd love to hear from you, uh, from anyone who who, uh, whose life was touched by the beautiful cow, Daffodil. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.